So, hey there everybody, what's new whole universe? I hope that everything is fine and today is our new video and new possibilities for learning how to write an English book, okay? Let's dive into it uh, today, or maybe not English, but foreign, for your country. For example, you are Indonesian and you want to write in Spanish language, or you are Mexican and you want to write in Russian, or you are American and you want to write in French. <laughs> Jesus Christ, or maybe in others' languages. How to write books in different languages that you are not mega super familiar with? Today I will share my experience to you that you can reflect to and see like through this, okay? Let's try to do this together. First, first point of our story is that, and by the way, I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and I have been learning English for three years and maybe something will be not uh, really good with my English speaking, okay? <laughs> it is to uh, you consider with, okay? First, first thing that you need to do, it is, uh, maybe, it is I do translating my Russian stories. For example, I have Russian stories that I told on my Russian YouTube channel or or on my Russian podcast memos that I have already did or maybe I told it for one person in Russian language then you can imagine it and translate it to English language try to do this it is first thing that you can do it is a really super easy full uh, thing and you can always like check some facts and you already have some mental images you already have some associations inside of your mind because new language it is only new sounds of your word and only new watching of symbols but associations with pictures with sounds and emotions and of feelings are already inside of our mind okay and we connect them through different types of speaking like for example in russia we have sabaka sabaka is a russian word like dog it is a dog in english and you connect like a picture of sabaka to picture of of word dog or maybe say word like listening or feeling how she maybe b bite at you and, <laughs> and ate fully fed you for a breakfast. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, dive into our second point. Second point, it is for stands for uh, to, 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 one moment I have it sharing my Russian experience. You can share your experience that you have already maybe not told but you already have for example you worked as a for example russian how to say it i want to i want to mention to you for example you have an experience of living in specific streets of russia you have experience of it in russian language it maybe will be not really super interesting for some people for like majority of people because they know already these facts and uh, why are you talking to me about like uh, about kremlin is it interesting i live near it and i watch it every day like russian people can think the same if you are a new yorker what uh, it, it is like a talking about times square oh jesus let's i i will share you my dear americans friends right now all the facts about Times Square. I'm American, for example, and I share to you Americans that already have living here for 20 years some facts about uh, Times Square. It is not super interesting will be for them. But if you apply it to another or to other audience, it will be interesting. Maybe because it is kind of oh, it is interesting. It's some something new. It is like uh, listening to uh, to, uh, to stories about elves or maybe dwar dwarfs or maybe gnomes. Yes, and uh, then you can apply your own foreign experience and apply it to other foreign language. I hope you understand. It is like you are applying your experience, experience that you have uh, inside of you about your country to other languages. Good and interesting and not so so big amount of supply already people have. But demand sometimes is higher. Okay, next thing that you can do it is creative writing. And creating writing it is like all only 
like writing random words, creating things. It is like a type that people do in any language. You you only type like and creating some new words like a fuzzing, wazzing, dazzing, razzing, and tazzing, and uh, lizzy, and shizzy, and fizzy, and kizzy. Like uh, <laughs> these words of roll doll type, and you can create them by your own too. And uh, what should you do? You only like type and create new words. It is creative writing. It is uh, you can learn it uh, everywhere. It is third thing that I do. I only like create oh, pink clouds and inside of the pink clouds we have a nation of some of the golems or maybe some of the bird, bird flying creatures looking like men and people and uh, we can create stories like creative writing through creative writing, okay? Next, what can we do? It is fourth, it is writing something and free writing about anything, but in a foreign language. If you, if you have a zero experience in any area, area, yes, then you should only write and write and write and write. Like one, th one million words you can write, you should, or maybe if you want, uh, if you want, you can write... Uh, one million words and connect with mental images. It is what I was talking about, like a dog when we connected a dog with a picture of a dog. It is like only writing and like not watching anywhere and working only with your imagination. It is imagination work. It's four things that you can do to write something better in for in a foreign language. You should connect it with all experiences that you have around and with all the pictures. And you do this through the mental work and imagination work. Like you are thinking about picture of the elephant and also creating story about about how to feed a, an elephant, yes? For example, and uh, you write about it and you also connect it uh, through the touching your keyboard or maybe writing for, for your handwriting, okay? Next thing what you can do, one moment I will use it because I noticed it. Next it is uh, fifth but not at least thing, last but not at least, it will be a super nice thing, what you can do, it is, uh, you can ask your audience, if you have already audience, like friends maybe from foreign countries, you can, uh, you can ask them, like, hey, Johnny, hey, Tabalicious, hey, Lucy, hey, Cora, <laughs> Cora, Lucy and other people, may I ask you, what would you like to know about uh, Russia, about America, about I Ireland, about maybe France? What would you like to know? Because uh, maybe I can bring you value. Some people will uh, will say to you, hmm, it will be interesting to know about food more about from this place. Some someone will say like I want to I have a feeling that I want to learn how to start a business in your place. It will be interesting to learn, especially business for my type of field. It will be really interesting for me, uh, for example. I will be really interesting uh, interested in how to start uh, stadium tours in America. How do they like? How do they look like? It will be interesting to me. If you are American, please write about it. It will be interesting. Maybe it will be something like not really easy to write uh, firstly in for first things always not super mega easy to write and like to connect need to create um, images inside of your head and then it will be easy anything is easy when you invest in it time really anything is easy when you invest time in it guys and okay we already have to uh, have uh, speaking about this topic for a while i hope that you enjoyed this uh, video what do you think about this all facts that i shared to you please let me know in the comment section below it will be interesting to know and uh, have a good day right now we have five different types and uh, always bring value to people through your writing even it will be, even if you don't know that you bring value right now, keep mental image in a macro perspective way that you bring it in a macro perspective. Like, 
in five years. For example, you have right now not really nice writing, but you understand that you will be better. And then after five years, you can create a book, how you started your journey and how you w went through this all things and published it. And it will be a really nice experience to show and to share to people and they will like it because Jesus, he has his own experience. He's a really expert in it, this area. It is amazing. And he went through all the obstacles, circumstances and barricades and barriers and things. Okay. Thank you a lot for watching. Be cool and always improve Saldelia. Always, always, always. See you next time. Bye. -bye.